Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to the second part of the five part episode 10. In this episode, we'll be building all the taxi tracks for the airport and the main terminal. I will also begin construc construction of the cargo terminal and also the hangar areas. Now the terminals with the terminal buildings which I have used are a part of the GRU or the GRU terminal uh, pack or by which is made again by Vasmir like I said in the first part of this episode that most of the airport assets will be made by Vasmir or Mobius 1 so over here most of the buildings the terminals and all the gates which are being used over here are also made by Vasmir and you can go check them out they're uh, all linked in the description over there so you guys can subscribe to all these assets and you can put them in your city and they're really great assets like the level of detail Vazmir has put into making all these buildings is just amazing so a huge shout out to him Like I did in the last episode, I am using the A380 for measurements. Um, as you can see, I am leaving enough space between the terminal and the taxi track so that an entire A380 can pass by with a lot of st uh, space left between the wing and the terminal. So like any big international like a huge airport in the world this airport will also have multiple spokes I have made 8 spokes in this like there are different branches of the airport which is coming out like like you can see so I've made 4 of them till now and this is the part where I actually start building the remaining 4 of those uh, rem remaining 4 of those spokes which come out of the terminal and these spokes will actually give the planes a lot of place to park and I, I'm gonna have quite a lot of gates available for the planes to come and park onto. And as you might have noticed by now that my airport is quite a lot of it's taken a lot of inspiration from LAX actually for the people who have been to LAX or have seen pictures of it, you might have noticed that the side spokes are quite a lot uh, which you know are pretty similar to the ones which are there at LAX except the top part I haven't made the T exactly as the same as, uh, as LAX but I have tried to except I've given those two extra spokes coming out of the top. Now for the inspiration of the airport, um, before I started building I have actually looked up thousands of airports. I looked at Atlanta, I looked at LAX, I looked at SFO, I looked at the Paris's, uh, Paris airport, I'm sure it's called, I'm not sure how to pronounce that but it's Charles do something. Um, if you know how to pronounce it do tell me. Uh, anyways, yes, um, I looked at a few from India itself, I looked at the New Delhi airport and I looked at many international airports, actually I looked at New York's JFK, I looked at LaGuardia also and it was there was a lot of inspiration from almost everywhere but I think for the first time when I was building the airport I felt that LAX would be the easiest to build so I chose to take that as an inspiration 
बट यस नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल मे बी ट्राई समथिंग अ बिट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मे बी लाइक एस एफ ओ बिकॉज जे एफ के विल गेट टू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज इट हैज़ ऑल दो मिक्स ऑफ हाई वे एंड चेंजेस इन स्टफ बाय द वे जे एफ के रिमाइंड मी फॉर द पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू सी रियल जे एफ के लेवल स्टफ गो वॉच एफ बी एस इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट इट्स अ कोलेब्रेशन लाइक आई सेड इन द लास्ट एपिसोड एंड इट्स अमेजिंग यू हैव टू गो वॉच वॉट वॉट बी स्पाइकल हाउजन एंड Flux and strict toast did with that airport, just amazing. That's off to them. I don't know how did they do that, but I do. If I get a chance, I would really like to learn from them. So on huge airports like LAX and SFO, you might have seen that there are these multi-level parking lots. which not only serve as a short term parking but they also serve as a place for all the car rental companies and all that so as you step out of the terminal you can get your car and you can get a car from the car rental and you can head towards the city so that's what i've tried making here with these parking lots on the outside which are more nearer to the terminal and the open parking lots are going to be in the center right next to the train station you can see in the middle which i've put what what i've tried to make here is and you might have also noticed that the second deck of these uh, parking levels actually coincide with the upper deck of the roads which i've made the departure level so what i've tried actually doing here is trying to make it look like that the the de- departure terminals actually have an entrance to those parking lots from an actually a uh, upper level also so they do not have to always go down to access the parking they can access the parking from the upper levels also and of course we're 10 episodes into the series and i have and i still forget to give all the basic resources to the the resources i meant uh, the city services to the places i build and i just tend to forget it's a really bad habit but i always try very hard to remember it so yeah that's that's about that Though I will admit that the piping actually looks very satisfying from top. So as you can see there are so many cars already coming in and out of my airport because there's such so much high demand for people to come into the city so you can always see planes moving around. Um uh, not right now because I don't think I have actually connected the uh, pathways to the uh, plane stand so the places where you're seeing the taxi ways connect to the terminals are the gates um so basically there are usually only four gates which are supposed to place though i have placed around eight of those actually um, i'm not sure um i think eight to 10 of those so in the game in the base game there are only four outside connections so those four what the four outside connections mean is that only four gates can be placed and so every gate is assigned to one outside connection but when i was actually editing the map in the map editor using the unlimited uh, unlimited outside connection mod i have actually added i think around 10 or 10 or 12 of uh, outside connection so all my gates can be used so yeah so there are um, many of my gates being used and <laughs> the funny thing is um, at a certain point of the, in the game i had actually planes taking off from the taxi ways because they felt that this was the shortest way to reach that outside connection so that they can leave this map and <laughs> that was pretty funny because i panicked that i i didn't know what to do and i tried making sure that did not happen again which you saw me just do, do back there now those gates which i have called over here those gates are not actually gates in in game those are actually plane stands so those plane uh, so those plane stands are so in the game right now i have not made all the plane stands for uh, take off and landing all of them have different purposes some are only for the planes which have landed some are only for which are taking off and some are for both also for the people who are not, uh, making a custom airport um, in their cities one thing you have to remember is that placing those gates uh, those plane stands are not, is not going to help you have to connect those plane stands to roads using your pathways please do remember that you have to use your pathways to make sure that planes do arrive on the gate and as you can see or you might have seen before also that planes are actually spawning on those plane stands now because there's a lot of incoming and outgoing demand in my city over here
So this road which I'm making over here uh, up from the highway is, will actually be heading towards the hangar area. So this road will actually head towards the hangar and that road will head actually nowhere. I don't know why I made that but I think I bulldozed it later. Or maybe I connected it to the cargo area, I'm not sure. But um, this road will actually come and this taxi track which you are seeing me just build will be connected to the uh, hangar. So the planes will be, the, this the hangar, hangars will be totally accessible to all the planes i mean there won't be planes literally moving into them they'll all be props the, those planes which will be inside the hangars are going to be props and as you can see a plane just landed and went and parked and just vanished over there that's because it despawned and it despawned because that's an only landing gate over there like i said before there are some for only landing some for only takeoff and some for both Now these are the service roads which usually help the uh, help the catering uh, catering trucks and the fuel trucks and all the baggage cart tractors to move around the airport. You might have seen these usually run in these in most airports. These um, these airport roads usually run closer to the terminals. Um, SFO being an exception, these uh, um, these uh, service service roads actually run behind the gates. So the gates is so they move actually behind the plane instead of front of them, and I think that's pretty cool too. But I felt that it wasn't required on this airport because there was quite a lot of space in front of it, so I left that. Okay, so like you saw in the earlier in this episode that there were planes taking off from the taxi tracks. So I tried redesigning it like I did the same thing, but I tried replacing it so that, you know, um, so that those planes don't do not again try to take off from the from these taxi tracks because it's very weird, you know, planes do not take off from taxi tracks. And yeah, that's about that. And now you'll see me build the hangar area. So this entire area on the left side of the airport will be dedicated to make hangars so the first thing i've placed over here is an airport road again because this is actually the part this is, this will be considered inside of the airport premises so there should be to say oh by the way these airport roads do not uh, allow zoning so to allow zoning i have used the no pillar mod so that no pillar mod not only removes pillars but also uh, changes the type of uh, road so not the type of road actually it actually helps you control if you want to zone or not zone anything on the roads so that's what i did over here so i clicked on force zoning over here and it's uh, and it uh, allowed me to zone these huge hangers made by ronix so these uh, huge hangers are actually recreated from the warehouse which i've used in the city uh, again these are by ronix so he you can uh, check these out in the steam collection uh, down in the description and it's pretty good as you can see they're pretty big and it can fit pretty uh, a lot of planes inside them a uh, few small planes and one big plane at least and that's how hangers are supposed to be actually i mean there are bigger hangers which can fit three planes in the real world but in the game i think this was more than enough
I tried out different configurations to place these uh, hangers and I felt this was the best one. I think this was simple and I think that's how hangers are supposed to be. Um, so what I tried was I'll make one hanger which is faced towards the side. That's why you saw me place one of those A380s right next to the hangers so that they have enough place to turn and all that. But I decided not to do that and stick to the, one of these ideas. And I stuck to this one and I decided I'll move the the hangers a bit more back because the wings of the A380s will clip on that thing and there'll be a bit more place needed for these offices so any uh, ideally any airline hanger is attached to an office and so these office space usually they file all the paperwork and stuff where it's, uh, where the planes are parked and from there and by the way this is the uh, interesting part um, placing logos so I didn't want all of them to be Lufthansa actually so I have actually put Lufthansa I didn't have a logo for United Airlines though I have put United in uh, quite a few of them so there are I think three hangers which will be dedicated to Lufthansa as you can see I've placed different kinds of planes over here and the others will be a mix of different jets so I placed United in the last one over here as you can see and a few smaller United aircrafts over here in this one and I've placed them in different mix and match configurations so that each of them look pretty unique. So I wanted more logos but I was able to find only these many logos and plus they have no lights on it so you'll see me later I have actually placed lights over it. So on the right side of the airport now I have started building the cargo facility so I'll be placing two of these cargo hubs though when I cover it up with the warehouses it will look like one big big structure over here. Right now they are actually, there are actually two of these which are placed and I decided to get the train connection since all those uh, airport hubs actually have uh, those cargo hubs actually have an inbuilt ra uh, cargo railway station kind of thing inside it. So again, like I said in the first episode, I'll be using all the DLCs, uh, the air, this airport, um, this integrated airport with all that, uh, with all that train station and stuff. This is actually a part of the industry's DLC. Yes. So these are the two air cargo airports which come with the industry DLC. One is this big one which has a integrated rail station, and one is a smaller one which is the size of the base game pass um, base game passenger airport. The funny thing is if you try placing the smallest airport, the smallest vanilla airport which is available in the base game, that airport is way too small, like I'm not even joking, that thing has only like what, two gates or three gates probably on that and, and it's just extremely small and if I place them, and the runway is extremely small, like the runway over here is probably the length of the entire, uh, probably a length, length of an entire maybe two hangers over there so it looks very weird if i place it right next to this airport it's extremely small and it's it's quite funny so yeah So as you can see my rail connection in, in the entire city is almost done and you might have noticed till now like what an important role the railways play in my city over here because most of my things are based off of railway because even the different parts of the city is connected through railway the different types of cargo hubs and all that things are also connected via railway so car uh, so these railways actually you know the railway in my city plays a pretty important role over here. And wow, this has been a pretty long episode over here, like, um, it's, it's been a pretty long episode making the entire airport over here. So right now also you might n notice that the airport hasn't taken entirely shape, though it has, but you won't be able to notice it so much. So you'll notice the uh, significant change when you'll actually see me, you know, like surface paint to the entire thing. When I put down the uh, concrete for the airport, that's when you can, you know, like literally see how big the airport looks from, uh, from above. I'll, 
I'll see if I can put, uh, put down a picture, a sky shot of the uh, of the entire city, and you can see how big the airport looks compared to the city. And it's pre it looks pretty good after I surface painted it. And and I think in this episode, there's not much of detailing regarding the cargo. Uh, in, fa in fact, not only the cargo, the entire episode, uh, the entire airport. So you'll see that in the next episode. And yeah, so it's pretty. It's, it's going to be an interesting task, like detailing the entire thing because detailing is something which i pretty much like and like i said it's gonna be the airport is the most detailed part of this airport and you might have noticed that i have given direct connection from the industrial area to the airport because i do not want all those trucks mixing up with the other passenger traffic over here so those trucks will have direct access across the man-made river you know they can just go over the bridge from the industrial area and get into the cargo uh, terminal area of the airport and I think it looks pretty good and it reduces traffic a lot, trust me. So I guess we're coming to the end of this episode. If you like my content and wish to see more, please do subscribe to my channel. And if there's something you want me to improve in, whether it's my voiceover or content, please feel free to write it down in the comments or get in touch with me on Instagram or Twitter. So this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.